think I started the vlog like this last time. What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be vlogging, no installs, no nothing like that. We're not going to be working on the car. It's a nice day outside so I thought it'd be a pretty good vlog to just go out and take some pictures. I'm about to go get some Chick-fil-A for dinner but in the meantime since it is only like 3.30 it is still pretty early for dinner so on the way to Chick-fil-A I might as well just take some pictures of the car because I don't have any more. If you guys follow me on Instagram I haven't posted anything within like the past week week and a half maybe two weeks because i don't have any so that's your explanation right there but we're gonna go get some today yeah that sounds kind of interesting come with me on this journey and then we'll figure out where it takes us to chick-fil-a so let's get it so in the last vlog that i did i actually went north um from where i live i actually just went up north towards san francisco today i'm gonna be going south there is no chick-fil-a going north you just have to cross the Golden Gate Bridge. We're just gonna take the long way. We could obviously take the freeway, which is gonna be maybe like 20 minutes quicker, but there's no fun in that. There's no fun in taking pictures on the freeway because we don't have anyone to take rollers of us. We're gonna be cruising and we're gonna try to find some good spots to take some pictures. One thing that I wanted to address though was my last video, I posted a video about fashion stuff and most, some of you may like, some of you may not have subscribed to me for the fashion stuff, which I get because the last few videos that I've been doing are all about my car. Because one thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to incorporate fashion within this channel along with the cars. So I'm not gonna be fully abandoning my car. I, I absolutely love my car. And another thing that I really love to do is like, it's just fashion, like in general, just clothes, shoes, stuff like that. I want to show you guys like my recent pickups. If you don't like that kind of fashion stuff, also let me know what I should post on this channel because I'm always open to new ideas of what I should record, what you guys would like to see. So yeah, just give me some suggestions in the comment section down below. We got some tunes going on. Yeah, we're just, we're just vibing today, man. It's a Friday and we're just chilling. So yeah, just vibe. All right guys, so we have made it to location number one. This is, I wouldn't say this is the best garage to take pictures in. I just really like the lighting in here. I used to work pretty close here, so I would park in this garage often and I would get some pretty good shots. So let's see if I can get some good ones and see how it goes. All right, so we have made it to garage number two. The lighting in here is much better, but taking pictures on the iPhone, you don't have as much like adjustability. Pick and choose what light is better and like, like you can't focus on what light, even though you tap on the object, like it just doesn't work that good. One thing that I didn't do in my last vlog was show you guys like me taking the actual picture and stuff like that. So in this video, I wanted to like put an emphasis on like showing me actually taking the picture and all that stuff instead of me just like, oh guys, like I'm here and I just took some pictures, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna put you guys down and I'm gonna show you guys how I take some pictures. All right, so I'm in this corner like taking pictures and you guys will not guess what I've seen. Bro, what is that dude? Like y'all nasty bro. Like in the back of this damn parking lot. Get the hell out of here with that. I don't know, man. People are crazy these days. I mean, I respect the protection, but come on. All right, spot number two finished. One tip that I would like to suggest is taking pictures in a garage with an iPhone absolutely is garbage. Like all the light is just being absorbed. So I can't control like how much light is in each picture, which sucks, but I guess we gotta work with what we gotta work with. So let's actually head to spot number three that I have in mind and we'll see how that goes that one's actually outside so let's hope that one's a little bit better so i don't think i actually ever showed you guys like how my car sounds when it's revving um most of you guys may have seen my straight pipe video but i haven't done it in a while so i'm gonna set you guys down so you guys can hear it <laughs> I made it to like this this nicer, newer commercial building area. I'm gonna see if there's a nice spot for me to take pictures because I got absolutely garbage pictures in the garage. So yeah, let's see if I have better luck here. Pretty 
pretty good amount of pictures for one spot. It's probably the nicest empty lot I've found all day. And the hotel right across from me has a freaking basketball court outside. Never seen that, but that's elite. It's a residence in Marriott, so good on your residence in Marriott. Never seen that before. You guys should have that in all hotels. Let's actually go to the original spot that I was originally gonna go to. And then let's go pick up some Chick-fil-A because I'm hungry. So now we have made it into Chick-fil-A. It's the newest Chick-fil-A. It's closer. It's about 20 minutes closer to my house than it is to the next closest one, which is a big improvement because that's like 40 minutes away for just some Chick-fil-A. Everyone in line for some damn chicken, bro. Look at that. Newly built. Now we just gotta wait. But what happened with the fourth spot was that I think it was closed due to COVID. No one's going there, so I guess I just closed the parking lot, I guess, which sucks because that was the one that I wanted to take pictures at, but you know, we got some good ones. Can't look at the bad in the situation. You always got to look at the good in every situation. So yeah, yeah. Uh, Chris? Chris, how many serve you cake today, Chris? Everyone's always so nice here. If you're having a bad day and you need someone to cheer you up, just go get some Chick-fil-A, man. The food will cheer you up, and even just the customer service that they have, 10 out of 10. It's about 79 degrees. In California, it's a little weird, so where I am currently at right now, it's 79 degrees. Currently, where I live right now, it's about 70, 70 degrees, maybe like 69, so it's like a 10 degrees drop off. I left the house in shorts, and I was freezing, but when I got here, like it feels hella good. We're enjoying the nice weather. We're blasting some pop smoke. RIP pop smoke. Hope you guys are enjoying this vlog. We, we just been chilling. I needed one of these. With everything that's going on, everyone should just take a drive just to clear their mind by themselves, just to like decompress, you know, just, just take a drive by yourself, get away from everything and just, just clear your mind. Just play some good music and just go get some Chick-fil-A because that, that'll end up cheering you up when you get there and when you eat the food. So it's a win-win situation for pretty much everyone. You vlogging in here or what? Shoot, I got to. got it? I got to, man. You got a channel? What's up? You got a channel? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's it? You want to shout it out? Yeah. Shoot, it's just, it's just my name, Christian Mishula. You can look it up. Okay. Hey, shout out to Christian. What's your name, was? Jose. Jose? Shout out Jose, man. <laughs> Chick-fil-A, Redwood City. Check him out. Uh, Later, Chris. Cool. How you doing, man? Thanks, boss. Take care. Hey, shout out my guy Jose, bro. Shout out my guy Jose. I don't even know that guy, but shout out Jose. Redwood City Chick Fil A. Check him out, dog. Oh my goodness, that's fun. But one thing about Chick Fil A, though, man, I always check my food when they give it to me at the drive-thru. Like, I never just like, oh, thank you, and then drive away without checking. I always check my food, and Chick Fil A never ceases to disappoint me because they have never gotten my order wrong in the past. So, knock on wood, that doesn't happen again, but shout out Chick-fil-A though. Shout out Jose too. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I was stuck in dead stop traffic. Since everyone should be working from home, even the essential workers, shout out to you guys. I know you guys are working hard and obviously everyone needs to be paid. So, shout out to you guys who are still working, but I don't remember the last time I've been in traffic, man. This is, this sucks. Chick-fil-A sauce, best sauce, nuts, Polynesian. Not the Garden Herb Ranch. And you just got plain. No lettuce, no tomato, no deluxe. So if there's definitely something I've been doing for the last few days is just watching an NBA, man. Shout out to the future. Luka Doncic. No, it's all good. It's all good. Good tip. Good tip. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. I got home, watched some basketball, ate some Chick-fil-A, took a nap, and now we're just playing some Valorant. I just wanna thank you guys for tuning to this video. We just took like a short little adventure just to get some Chick-fil-A, which I thought was pretty cool. Got some cool pictures and broke a couple necks along the way. So if you guys wanna see more content like that, definitely let me know in the comment section down below where I should go. One other thing, if you guys do play Valorant, and you want to play with the boy, we got like a, like a steady squad of three. So if you guys want to play, hit me up on Instagram and I'll add you and we can play some game. But yeah, man, I hope you guys are staying safe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.